12.2.4 Toxicity of Micronutrients The requirement of micronutrients is always in low amounts, while their moderate decrease causes the deficiency symptoms and a moderate increase causes toxicity. In other words, there is a narrow range of concentration at which the elements are optimum. Any mineral iron concentration in tissues that reduces the dry weight of tissues by about 10% is considered toxic. Such critical concentration vary widely among different micronutrients. The toxicity symptoms are difficult to identify. Toxicity levels for any element is also vary for different plants. Many a times, excess of an element may inhibit the uptake of another element. For example, the prominent symptom of manganese toxicity is the appearance of brown spots surrounded by chlorotic veins. It is important to know that manganese competes with iron and magnesium for uptake and with magnesium for binding with enzyme. Manganese also inhibit calcium translocation in shoot apex. Therefore, excess of manganese may in fact induce deficiencies of iron, magnesium and calcium. Thus, what happens as symptoms of manganese toxicity may actually be the deficiency symptoms of iron, magnesium and calcium. Can this knowledge be of some importance to a farmer, a gardener or even for you in your kitchen garden?